I think it's a good budget, a budget which stands for continuity, a budget which tries to consolidate on all that is being done and has been done over the last couple of years. It is not a big bang change in some sense, does not have a big bang uh, modification, amendment, regime change so far as taxation is concerned. At the same time, there's no minor tinkering as well. It's trying to consolidate what is being done over the last couple of years. Uh, what I do feel is that the thrust and the focus really of this budget seems to be to try and promote growth through the structural agenda and that includes trying to provide certainty, greater certainty, clarity in the tax law, trying to ensure stability of the tax law, trying to make it as simple as one on balance could and to a large extent providing transparency, fairness, and, and some sort of accountability within the tax regime. So I would feel on balance, it's a good budget. Yes, uh, do I think there could be many things that probably ought to have been done? I do feel that on the corporate tax reform front, uh, there was an assurance provided a couple of years back that one, that one would move towards a 25% tax rate. We are not seeing that happening across the board. It's happening in very small pockets, especially when it comes to large numbers and large corporations. They do not seem to be seeing that coming true. So that's something that one would hope comes true over a period of time, especially along with surcharge and cess, the tax rates can be prohibitively high. So phasing out exemptions, incentives and trying to move to a more reasonable, globally competitive corporate tax regime is one area where I thought it would have been good if some action had been taken in the budget. Also, I would have felt that some clarity as regards GAR, the general anti-avoidance rules which go live from April 1, 2017. We still do not have any guidelines in place in regard to GAR. And at a time when we are very close to the go live date, not having guidelines certainly does not promote the objective of providing certainty, clarity in the tax regime. So that's one thing I would have felt uh, could have been dealt with probably either by deferring GAR or, or by providing much greater clarity on how it gets implemented. Uh, something similar in regard to POEM, the place of effective management rule for determining residence of foreign companies. I would have felt since the guidelines have just come out, one would have expected a deferral for, for at least a year, uh, which we have not seen. So there are areas and pockets where probably more could have been done. But by and large, I think it's a good budget in terms of uh, what it is trying to do is provide a more stable, certain, clear uh, and, and transparent tax regime. Uh, one would also feel that a lot more can be done in terms of administration. Of course, the budget does say that there are a few provisions, for example, in relation to refund, which seem pretty fair and, and bring some sort of accountability. For example, there's interest on refund in respect of TDS payments. There's also ensuring that there'll be much less delay in grant of refunds, especially where cases have been selected for a scrutiny, tax audit or assessment. So there are provisions which certainly help the moving of the fair market value to be taken as cost of acquisition for capital gain purposes. The date from 1 for 1981 to 1 for 2001 certainly is a welcome move. And so also is, uh, is the lowering of the term, the period in which land and buildings, immobile properties could become long term. That two year period so should certainly help. So a lot has been done in, in terms of trying to promote affordable housing uh, and, and things around that. I think it's a budget all in all which tries to keep the law certain, stable, clear and I would welcome the budget. Thank you.